Okay, now that I showed you how to drag buttons out of their library and add them to the menu, let me show you how to link those buttons up. Let's go ahead and delete the other button that we made earlier. I'm just gonna click on that and press delete and also click on the text and press delete. Okay, now what I wanna do is actually go ahead and let's break off this menu again so that I can make it larger so we can actually see what we're doing. All right, great, here we go. So now when I select this button, I actually want it to play all just like it says. So we need our inspector again. So let's go up here and let's click on the menu and let's get our inspector. Okay, great, we have our inspector now and let's go back and click on our menu again and let's click on that button. All right, so notice how the inspector changed the button and see right here where it says target. If this is our play all button, well, we probably want it to play all. Let's go to tracks and let's just choose the first track or chapter one. It could really be any of these three, track, start, or chapter one. They're all at the beginning, we'll just choose track. So when we click on that particular button, it will now play the clip. Now here on chapters, this is where we actually need to make another menu so that we could have our chapter listing. So this chapters button will actually take us to a new menu. Let's actually create a new menu. Let's redock this. All right, great. Now let's scoot our interface over and see right here where it says menus, you could right click or control click on menus and choose add menu. Or up top, notice they have a very large add menu button. Let's click on that. There we go, now we have menu two. All right, so let's move the inspector out of the way. You can see our menu two is blank. So we may wanna have an image in the background. Let's just use a still picture to keep it simple for now. All right, great, we have our background picture. And now what we could do is actually have our scene selections on here. So let me show you a trick. If we come down here and click on the video clip, remember it already has the chapter markers inside of it. Let's click and hold down and let's drag and drop it on here and see where it says create chapter index and make the connections, let's choose that. All right, now notice that we could actually choose a theme on here or we could make our own. Let's just go with one of their themes for now. I kind of like this theme. Let's choose this one and I want to click OK. Now it'll probably take a few seconds here for it to go ahead and put all the content in and it did it actually pretty quickly. So you can see that here's all of our chapters. It's a little hard to read. Let me break this off and make it bigger so you can actually see it. Let's break that off. There we go. And let's zoom in. All right, there you go. You can see there's actually the name of our chapters. There's, you know, chapter one, two, three. We could actually name the scenes if we want. All right, so if we don't like this template, we can actually choose a different template. Let's go ahead and redock this button. There we go. Move our menu back to the top. So let's go back and let's get our palette again. And if we wanna choose a different template, it's pretty simple. All we have to do is just click on the template, hold, and let's drag and see where it says apply to menu. We'll go ahead and do that. And it will change our design and it'll plug in our chapters again. All right, see that? Let's try one more. Apply to menu. And notice how it reconstituted the design and there are our chapter links. Oops, I accidentally docked the menu there. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. All right, so the cool thing is it's already actually made the links for us for these chapters. If we actually go get our property inspector again, running out of space here on the screen. Okay, here's our inspector. And let's go click on these buttons and you'll see that when we select these different buttons, that it's already actually made the target for us. See that? So there's chapter one and it's going to chapter one. There's chapter two, notice how it goes to two, so forth and so on, okay? So that's a neat little trick that you can do to go ahead and line up your chapter buttons if you like their templates. If not, you can actually create your own template and we'll talk about that later in another tutorial.